Marquise Goodwin, we talked about him a little bit earlier, uh, brings an element of speed uh, to the Browns along with Elijah Moore. At 33, he talked about how he stays fast as well as this opportunity with the Browns. Training in the offseason, uh, going hard on the track. I'm a track and field athlete, 2012 Olympian for people who don't know. Um, so that's a huge background of mine. I love spending time on the track. In the offseason, I volunteer with the uh, Texas track team. I volunteer coach, so I spend a lot of time out there. How do you look at this as an opportunity with an, with a new team? Uh, another opportunity just to stack some wins, man. Build a culture here that is about winning and uh, create a change. You know, after making the playoffs a few years ago, uh, just you know, headed right back on the way up. So, just trying to do my part, do my job. And again, Corey, we talked about it a, a little bit earlier. It's not like he's going to play, you know, 40 snaps. But what he is going to do is defenses are going to have to know where he is when he lines up. Yeah, absolutely. And again, um, he, he's a field stretcher. The only other player the Browns have what he has is Anthony Schwartz, who's been, as we know, in, inconsistent at best. Um, some pretty iffy hands at best. So, uh, I, again, Goodwin has, has had some injury history as well. Uh, but he's consistent when he's on the field. So uh, just knowing where he is is going to create opportunities for Elijah Moore. It's going to create opportunities for Amari Cooper, who are two of the better route runners in the entire NFL, and they're both on the team. So, uh, again, Elijah Moore doesn't really get that respect because of his time in New York and, and the lack of targets he got and the lack of opportunities he had. But he's a really good football player and a really good route runner. So uh, I, I just think what, what we're doing is we're creating pockets and opportunities for guys to get open. Uh, whether that's distracting a safety deep down the field or, you know, uh, causing a bracket on, on Amari Cooper that's going to allow somebody else to sneak open. But, but I think the Browns are doing their best to, to create pockets uh, and create windows uh, for Deshaun Watson to throw into. So uh, they revamped the room, again, added role players. Um, I, I really don't like the analogy of using your wide receiver room to build a basketball team, like a, a one through five, but, but I think they've, they've kind of – done something like that you know they've got a point guard they've got a small forward they've got a big you know they, they can kind of roll those bodies out and and create pockets for Deshaun Watson to throw into yeah the other thing is is you split those guys with speed out and you're taking guys out of the box and that opens things up for Nick Chubb as well because you're not you're not going to put a, there aren't many people in the NFL you're going to line up one-on-one -on -one with either Marquise Goodwin or Elijah Moore because if you do Deshaun Watson's getting them the football early <laughs> Right, and you, and you mentioned Nick Chubb, and again, Nick Chubb has historically averaged six yards per carry out of shotgun. So, you know, when they do spread that out, you're, you're not allowing teams to stack eight in a box anymore. So, uh, and if you are running out of gun, uh, you're running into lighter boxes with a back who's been historically pretty good at it. So, uh, Nick Chubb should be should be grateful. He's probably not going to have as, as nearly as many carries as he had a year ago, but and that's a good thing to prolong his 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 playing career, but. Uh, I, I just feel like it's going to create a much more efficient and effective offense both through the air and on the ground. 